America's vast expenditure on the conquest of space certainly begins to look well worthwhile as the Apollo 14 mission successfully puts the fifth and sixth men on the moon. They're bringing back the largest ever haul of lunar samples and scientific data. Astronauts are a rare and distinguished breed. Alan Shepard, Stuart Rusa, and Edgar Mitchell, the crew of Apollo 14, have proved it yet again. Their extensive training enabled them to put right several last-minute malfunctions. In an unmanned craft, this would have meant abandoning the program. But the crew's courage, their confidence, and their unflappability would count for little were it not for the tireless team at Mission Control. Their guidance, advice, and ultimate control is essential. Their vigil is almost as tense and exhausting as that of the explorers themselves. The countdown over, Apollo 14 has liftoff. Three more men are bound for the wonders of another world. Forty-seven-year-old Shepard, a space veteran and the oldest man to set foot on the moon, embarks with Mitchell on the kangaroo hop that was to be the longest moonwalk. Thick dust hampered their progress in the lunar Far Moro Valley and although they couldn't complete the ascent of the Cone Crater, otherwise they achieved all they'd set out to do. While Major Rusa was to orbit 70 miles above them in the command ship Kitty Hawk, Shepard and Mitchell were to trundle their wheeled vehicle over the crusty surface. This, of course, is only a rehearsal of that vital task. In only a few years, the unbelievable has become reality. Already we've come to accept it, perhaps a little too readily. The step into space must be hailed as one of man's greatest achievements. Only the future can show if it's the most rewarding.